Well, I'm beautiful and lovely gamers. My name is Jonah, and today, now I'm gonna do something that I never do. I'm gonna talk about PTR changes, and um, because a lot of people are freaking out, a lot of people that love that our merger means and actually are subscribed to me um, are freaking a little bit out of our merger. Some people believe the merger is gonna be absolutely dead uh, as soon as this this new mercy patch go live, and I'm gonna make this video because uh, tomorrow I'm going uh, away from uh, with my friends up to a place called Kvitfjall. And essentially, we're just gonna chill out, and therefore there won't be any live stream, and I cannot create videos while I'm gone. So from that means Tuesday all the way to Friday, most likely there won't be any live stream. I might live stream on Friday. I might have hold that to the weekends. Anyway, the problem if you live it on a rock for some reason uh, and you don't know what's going on, essentially they are reducing the duration of Valkyrie down to like 15 seconds. If I remember correctly. She will also now move slower when she is in Valk form. She will um, not have two reses because now it's so that if you have your res off cooldown and you pop Valk, you get a second res. Or if it's not on cooldown, you pop Valk, it will get back off cooldown. So you instantly, as soon as you press Valk, you will at least have one res or, or maximum two. And it also makes, of course, res instacast, which it is no longer. When the PTR goes live, Res will no longer be instacast, it will have a cast time, just like it does outside the Valkyrie. And a lot of people call this, you know, yes, finally, you know, Mercy meta will be dead. Finally, Mercy will be out of, of this meta, we can finally see, you know, not of this res game. And I don't believe so, I still believe Mercy will be very, very viable. What you have to understand is, one, Mercy has great pocket potentials here, so it's pretty good damage boost. Of course, that's not what you pick for. You pick for res, and still, if I am Widowmaker, for example, on La on Lightstorm, I play on Lightstorm. He's my Widowmaker account. If I play Widowmaker and I snipe someone through spawn, I kill, absolutely destroy their Sinjara. If, if I do that and the Mercy is still safe, she can res him and continue to push, so that won't be a stagger. On top of that, Valkyrie is still OP. You still get 15 seconds of someone that is super hard to kill. She's not as fast, but she's still. Super hard to kill, is hard hitting flying targets, and her self heal is insane. So you still have that, that is chain healing and chain damage boosting your entire team, which makes her really strong. Valkyrie still will be really, really, really strong. So I don't believe she will be out of meta. I hopefully will hope that we will see uh, more Ana get back into the meta, uh, and hopefully due to Ana coming back into meta, we will also see a return, a little bit of Lucio, so we're not forced to run sense all the time. Um, but that is is essentially what I believe. So as soon as this go live, if you're Mercy Bane, don't despair. I still believe you will be able to play her. She will, however, require more skill and be harder to use. You it won't be as easy, which I believe is okay. Um, but you have to understand that res is just a broken mechanic. It's it's absolutely an overpowered ability. Therefore, as long as res is in the game, Mercy will to a certain extent always be viable. Also, if you hate Mercy Meta, of course, don't despair, it won't be as strong as before, but you can just pop Valk, rest two people instantly off. As long as you kill them and your team moves forward from that, so you cl kind of claim their body, you hook the, the Winston behind your and your lions, and then you engage the enemy team, she won't a lot of time be able to fly, because if she flies over you, which you normally will see, it will be pretty easy for your McCree or your Hog or your Tracer or whatever you have a DPS to kill her while she's doing her cast time. So... You know, it. I think it will actually be a pretty decent balance. Of course, I don't like to talk about PTR because I haven't played it in proper compared to matches for a longer period of time, and I haven't scrimmed with it since I don't have a team anymore. And uh, therefore, it's hard to say, of course, what will happen. But I'm just trying to to put my perspective on that. So I hope that uh, I would like actually to hear your opinions down in the comments before I say goodbye. So please go down to the comment section, drop your comment, drop your, your opinion on that, and what do you believe? Because, as always, this is the kind of discussion, I, I, I have my opinion, you have your opinion, we don't have to always agree, but I would love to hear your thoughts on that. So, I hope you guys have a lovely gaming experience, enjoy the new meta as soon as they go live. My name is Benjornal, stay positive guys, and keep the enemy in your crosshair.